really know is one honey Nothing left One honey Till nothing left All I really know is one honey Nothing left One honey Till nothing left All I really know is one honey What's up YouTube and Intro Web? This is your boy 100 back with another video. I hope you guys like my new intro. I worked hard on it. Um, the music was told from and inspired me to do it that way. It's from Delilah HD. Delilah HD. She has excellent um, YouTube channel. Um, go check her out. It's going to be leaved in the link below. And then you already saw Go check out the gang at IntroMediaGaming.com. You know, they don't hurt you. You know, that's always going to be on the description below. So let me get with this video. This has not been like super gaming news for me to talk about because other YouTubers have done it. I don't kind of like to piggyback all the time. Um, we already know the controversy of the 10 uh, Metal Gear. Then you know how they was, some motherfuckers did Forza and they did Gears of War wrong. And, you know, they've been doing Microsoft games wrong. But I had a theory I thought about yesterday. You ever thought that they do it on purpose for us to click on it, for other people to click on it? Have you thought about that? Like Forbes. We know Forbes is not a legitimate um, video game. They're not like an IGNs or a GameStop or GameSpot or, you know, Polygon. They're, you know, really just getting into this game because they know they can get into it and people read more negative news than anything. So I'm going to give you my theory. Microsoft, like with this one, Microsoft, former Microsoft head um, explains Xbox launch problems and they were predictable and they were preventable. Who gives a shit? It's over and done with. It's over and done with. Over, over. But people's going to click on that shit. You're going to get YouTubers going to talk about this shit. You know, you're going to get the ponies and the weirdos and all the rest of them going to get to talk about this shit. In the next story. Metal Gear Solid 5 sales show PlayStation 4 dominance over the Xbox One. Who gives a fuck? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? You know? It's, it's, I, I guess this is how the world is trending to. And i give you an example, too. Another example. Um, Just like when you watch the news or quit watching the news because what? What's the first thing on the news? Somebody got shot, robbed. Uh, um, a scandal. People engage into negative things, and it's actually helping Microsoft. It's like when another YouTuber talk about honey. They might talk in codes, but yeah, motherfucker, we know who you're talking about. But it's actually giving me re advertising. And like I believe, Mooch or Big Game Small Talk said this too. It's actually the hate is making Microsoft step their game up. Sony is comfortable. They're not stepping up anything. They have no game lineup. But first thing you'll see on GameSpot is, oh, look at the wonderful PlayStation sale. Microsoft has sales every week. What the games would go? You can just hit that one a little. Man, I wish I could show you. But it's, the one, it's, it's on the dashboard. And you can get sales. But Microsoft don't get the credit that they deserve. But I think it's working for the good. Because sometimes some, when somebody's hating on you like the media is, that means you're doing your shit right. When you on YouTube and motherfuckers in your comment section sitting there writing all these motherfucking novels, you're doing something right. Don't be discouraged. And hey, Microsoft ain't discouraged. You see Microsoft ain't go to the low. We sold 500 million. You know, it's, 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 it's things in here. Well, Sony said they sold 1 million in the Middle East. Who gives a fuck? But you see that in there. But if anything Microsoft would do, oh, Xbox lounge down for two hours, even though it wasn't, probably was down for 45 minutes, if that. Microsoft is stepping up with a new new UI. They're not talking about that, but they were talking about, like Mooch say, um, what's that? Uh, no Man's Sky, where the motherfucking, no one cares. No one's talking about the 60 bucks. For Andy, that you came and play with your friends. The odds that you playing with your friends is you got a you got a better chance of getting struck by lightning and winning the lottery. But they're not talking about that. So is it a good thing? I believe it's yes. 
It's a good thing. Keep on hating polygons. Keep on hating game spots. IGNs. Keep on. Because you giving us a better product for bigger and better things. Like I said, I'm also looking for other YouTubers. I'm, I'm looking for um, writers, people that can do reviews. Because Honey can't do no reviews. I just my, my reviews might be biased. So I'm trying to get on the unbiased thing. See, I try to conduct this as a real business. Even though I'm a place, I'm an Xbox dude all day. You know, my mind is open for everybody. Keep it 100. I'm out.